serious NSFW, men of Reddit who have been raped by women, what happened, did you tell anyone, and did they take you seriously? I was in second grade. She was in high school. It went on four months, then one day someone saw us through the window. I never saw her again. I got trashed at a party and passed out in the guest room. I woke up to some random girl on top of me. I shoved her off and rolled back over to pass out. She started screaming and tried to keep going. I fully woke up and realized my pants were off and she'd actually been going at me for a minute. I shoved her back and told her to fuck off. She started screaming again and her screaming had woken up a couple of my buddies. They told her to get the fuck out. Apparently she'd been caught by them in the room earlier trying to grope me and they threw her out. She snuck back in later. I was lucky because most guys get laughed at. I had two friends that saw what happened firsthand. I stopped drinking for a long time and stayed away from women for a while as well. She got me drunk. She may have been underage. She raped me, then blackmailed me for more sex. I was afraid for the consequences about it, so did not tell anyone for many years. Those I did tell, believed me. She ended up accusing me of raping her, even though I woke up to her on top of me going for it. We were good friends, and it ended up with me removing myself from the friend's circle. Told a few people, but no one's believed me except for my wife. Well I was around 6 or 7 and 3 of my older cousins, between 10 to 12, took turns with me. It was a backwards place and I certainly don't blame them, because I understand they probably learned it from playing house with someone else. The only thing that came of it was that being thrown into the deep end of the sex pool at such a young age made it very difficult for me to ever make the first move with people. I basically need expressive consent before even the smallest move. The people I've dated throughout the years have all been those that came out and said, I would like you to kiss me. I didn't even know it was a bad thing until I was much much older so nothing ever came of it. I've tried bringing it up a few times, but the blockhead guys were just like, wow, a foursome high five. No not high five. I'm not a man, but this happened to a friend of mine. He was taken advantage of while drunk. He could barely even walk, and the girl was stone cold sober. She knew how much she had been drinking, and she had liked him for a bit, so this was the night she decided to make her move. The next morning, his reaction was pretty much holy fuck, what did I do? He turned to me for advice, and I told him that it was rape. He was too drunk to consent, and she didn't have a single drink. He was in complete denial and he blamed himself for the whole situation. He said I shouldn't have drank that much, and that it's not as serious as it sounds. But it affected him a lot. It made him super uncomfortable and that's not a regret that he should have. She was the one at fault. The girl ended up bragging to other people about how she seduced him, and people flipped their shit. Even though he only told a few of us, word got around because of her. People reacted way differently than we assumed they would. They didn't blame him, or justify her actions at all. Her reputation was ruined, not his. No one treated it like a joke. Everyone stood up for my friend at a time when he couldn't stand up for himself. I wish legal action was taken against her, especially because she's repeating a similar pattern with other men that I know, but I'm glad that people reacted the way they did. It's a reflection of how society is beginning to acknowledge and stand up for male victims of abuse. I just wish everyone had this support. When I was in high school, I made the varsity soccer team as an underclassman. This was very rare at my huge, sports focused school, and my new teammates gave me a hard time. I guess you could call it hazing, but it wasn't violent or anything too bad. They brought me to a big party one night with more upperclassmen. They continued to give me a hard time and pressured me to drink. Too much. One of the girls there, popular cheerleader type, went overboard with taking care of me. She kept holding my hand and almost like showing me off to everyone. My teammates were laughing it up and referred to her as my new girlfriend. 
Now, at this point in my life I had never even kissed a girl, let alone dated or anything. I didn't really know what was going on, or what to do. I just knew I felt uncomfortable and sick, so I got away from her, and found a couch, to lay down away from everyone. I fell asleep slash passed out, only to be woken up later to my pants down and her fondling my genitals. She was pretty popular, and I didn't want to make a scene, or piss her off and face backlash, so I just sat there in silence. After what felt like hours, a few of my teammates came barging, in asking where I am. I sat up, and they asked what we are doing. She assured them we are fine, and asked for privacy. There was some silence, and then one said Sergeant Vim Job, are you fine? Again, I didn't want to piss anyone off, but also knew I wasn't okay. I didn't say anything, and I think they understood, because he said hey, come on, let's go get food. The girl started to yell at them, but they shut it down, and we left quickly. They drove me home, and on the way they didn't say anything at first. I started thinking about practices, and hanging out and stuff, and how everyone, being teenager boys, would always talk about girls, sexual stuff, and whatnot. And already feared this was going to be the, but of many jokes. I asked if they would please not tell anyone. They suddenly got very sincere, first time I ever saw them like this, and agreed. They lectured me about sticking up for myself, and went on to tell me that all the hazing isn't coming from a bad place, that they went through it too, that they only do it because they know I'm talented, that it builds strength, etc., but they also said at the end of the day they always have my back on and off the field. It was never brought up again. That girl would show up around us slash our group every now and then, but my teammates would always deflect her away from any direct contact with me. I was 5 sixths and would play at a neighbor's house as they were known to my parents. The daughter was older than me, I can't remember how much older, but she had just hit adolescence and I think had started high school. She would routinely play house, until this one time where she wanted to make the baby I didn't understand what she meant as I was 5 sixths, I thought she meant Legos. She basically pinned me down, took of my pants and ground away. She'd force her tongue down my throat, and try to force me into her. Given my age, this wasn't going to happen naturally. I didn't realize what happened until years later, when we did sexual education at school. I was terrified that I'd caught some disease without knowing, or what my parents would think, so I kept it to myself. We were at a work party, I was in college, and she was a career waitress. I had recently gotten out of a long term relationship that just fucking destroyed me, I wanted nothing, no sex, no hookups, no cuddling in bed, I just wanted to be alone. I picked up the job at the restaurant to keep myself busy and make some extra money. I needed my time occupied, and this was the best way at the time. She had came on to me at work, but I kindly turned her down, telling her that I was not ready for any kind of relationship. She flirted often, but I didn't reciprocate. I literally had zero interest in anyone. I had two drinks at the party, and then one at a cowhawker's house after work shut their party down. I blacked out, not at all like me, woke up around sunrise half naked with her snuggled up to me. We had definitely had six, no fucking condom in sight. I was confused, very very confused. Not happy, not even a little bit. I slithered out from under her and got dressed, I walked a few miles home, and passed out for over 12 hours, missed my shift at work that day. I went in the next day and told them what had happened. I got a write up for missing my shift and made fun of for complaining about getting laid. I walked out and never went back. 15 years later, I found out she had had a baby. We are in the process of finding out if it's mine. This shit consumes my thoughts every goddamn day now. I have no idea what we are going to do if he is mine. I don't know where I'd classify this, and I was a child but this happened at around 10. My friend and I, both of us male, were lured into a neighbor teen, about 16, girls backyard with her friends. They asked us to help them with something, so we went to help out. Once we were back there they asked us to show them our penises. They fondled us, and made lewd comments. 
After about a minute or so, I said I was leaving, and we redressed and took off. Me and my friend never spoke of it. I do wonder how that interaction that should not have happened affected how I saw sex, my sex drive, preoccupation of it. Would I have been different, more focused on other things?